okay today we'll discuss about two very similar command in splunk called add totals and add call totals they are very similar in nature except a very subtle difference now between them so before i move on let me show you the data i have okay so i have index a csv file which has these four fields products for different products and their quarter wise breakup of sales and quota okay so i just put index equals to main and then i just taken this four uh, four columns here now first we'll discuss about add call totals then we'll move to add totals and then i'll show you the difference between them okay so if i just add add call totals what it does is for each and every numeric field if you see here i have two numeric fields sales and quota it gives me a column wise total as a new row or new event here for quota also it has, it has given that one okay now add call totals have two different arguments which are very useful let me show you that one as well but before that if you want to add up or do the summation for only a specific field you need to provide the fields name field name here in the at call totals uh, command so suppose i want to do the uh, addition only for this summation only, only for this sales column so i'll give sales here so in that case only for this column the column total will be appearing not for this column okay so now let's say sometimes it is very useful that you put a name over there like total or something similar to that so that whenever you will be displaying in your dashboard it will have a better display so to do that what you can do is there is a label field argument to this one so what it does you need to give a field name here on which the label will be appearing okay i will be choosing this quarter field quarter field okay and there is a label argument as well what it does is it will give you the value or you can give this level of this field of this sum i'll give like sum sum okay of sales let's say okay and if i just give sales field so just so by this arguments means i'll my lab, this sum cells will be appearing over here and i'll be only adding for the sales column okay so if i run this one so if you see it gives me that extra row with some cells coming up over here and the cells of addition of this all these cells values is coming up over here okay now let's skip this one and and now let's say before i move to add totals i can have another add call totals okay in this time what i'll do label field i'll choose products okay and label i'll choose label i'll choose let's say quota sum of quota okay so sum of q u o t a and then i'll add this quota field so what i'll do it will create another row over here with sum of quota coming to this products column and then the summation of this quota values here okay let's move on to add totals so i'll keep this query as it is i'll go back to my initial data okay now if i just give add totals what it do is if you see here for add call totals it was doing the column level summation now for add totals it it do the row level summation 
if you see and also it creates a new field called by default it, it creates a new field called a total okay and if you see each and every value is the row level summation of the values now if you want and if you want let's say uh, give the field names which for which you want the total you can give the field name over here as well if i give add to total sales it will only give you the sales value because it is only one uh, one column i have given here but you can always give more than one column so add total sales and quota will also give you the same result because i have only this two numeric field in my data okay so let's move on what if i want column level total as well okay in this case add total has a input call column okay it, it, it takes either true or false value so what it does so it is not only summing up my row level it also summing up my column level as well if you see for sales quota and total value okay now similar way what we have done in at call totals i can create a, this level field and level as well so what i will do similarly i'll give level field the field it's a quarter okay and my level will be let's i'll give total okay so in this case it will it is giving it is creating another row with this total is coming up in the quarter field name here and then the summation now what if i don't want this total i want some other name so in that case add call total has another input called field name okay you can give let's say row underscore total so in this case what will happen this value will be changing to row underscore total okay yep so this is changing to row total. So so if you see, this is the main differences between these two call these two commands, where add call totals only do the column level summation, and add totals have the capability to do row level summation as well as column level summation. Now there is another input of this add totals called row. Okay. Now, if I give row, row equals to false, that means it will not do row level summation. It will only do column level summation. If you see that the new new field raw total, row total already gone. So now, if you see the output of this add total is very similar to add call totals only, so where it is only doing the column level summation. Okay. So this is this is the main main differences and similarities between these these two commands. These are very two useful commands in Splunk. See you in next video.